Hello, everyone. Coming up here on Connect Now. On Connect Now, what a show we have for you. As you see this right here, Lil Nas X reveals that he is expecting. I don't get why he's doing this, but many people are speculating that it might be for the album release. We'll get to the latest on Lil Nas X um, shenanigans. Also, too, Drake releases his new album, CLB, Certified Lover Boy, and Drake's making history already with his new album cover and his new single, and we'll get to the latest on that. Also, too, um, Trick Daddy said some crazy stuff this past week, saying about he wants someone to eat his you-know-what. We'll get to that, too. And Kanye West and Kim Kardashian, the latest relationship drama, and the Kanye West releases his album, Donna, and he does a diss track on his soon-to-be ex-wife, Kim. Man, there's a lot going on, a lot of new albums and stuff. We'll get to the latest as Connect Now starts right after this. What time it is, and you know where it is. It's Saturday, and this is Connect Now. I'm your host, as always, Kendra Dix here, joined by Brittany Shea. Brittany Shea, how you doing on this Saturday? Doing good. Glad to be here. Hi. All right. Like I said, join in the conversation using the hashtag Connect Now here on Connect TV. And don't forget, don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe is caring. Tell a friend, call a friend, hit that subscribe button here on Connect TV here on now. All right, Brittany Shea, we got a lot to get to. Let's get started. What's going on with Drake? Drake making history once again. Drake released his album, Certified Lover Boy, and it's making history as well as being the most downloaded album in Spotify history. Drake making Damn. history as well. So what, what's your thoughts on um, Drake making history? Well, you know what? Drake, Drake is undoubtedly... It's almost like he he is the artist of the decade to me. You see what I'm saying? Like he he ain't nobody screaming. He, you know he got the most screen music besides Justin Bieber. Uh, he's very popular with the guy with the guys and the girls. It's like well, who touching Drake? You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And then I like he got some bangers on that uh, on the album. I heard that the first song I'm too I'm too sexy. Whatever. I, I kind of liked it. <laughs> But I'm gonna have to listen to the rest of the album to see. I'm, gonna, I'm I might listen to Kanye West album too to see what it's about. Yeah, I think um, Drake had a song seven a.m. on the Bridal Pill. Somebody was listening to that. Mm-hmm. I mean, he was talking about a lot of stuff. I think that's what you're talking about. He was dishing um, Kanye West with Kim and stuff. Love. So I don't know what's going on with that. I think he's he trying to. Um, Speculate that him and him and Kim had something going on. They probably did. I wouldn't be surprised. Y'all know Kim that Kim that Kim that girl can't be out there. Yeah. Even if she married or not, child. They've been had speculation rumors around Drake and Drake yeah. and the whole family. What, what, what's your thoughts on um, him making reference of um Steph Curry wife saying about to women that if you want to um be wife, you got to be like Aisha. Well, I mean, Aisha at one point in time was trying to act like she was thirsty because she she she, she wanted mm-hmm. attention. So I don't know. I mean, she Aisha seemed like she's a good wife. So you know, I, I guess you know, mm-hmm. carry yourself with class and like a lady. I don't know. Hello? Get wiped up, huh? Yeah, we have okay. a technical. Yeah, I hear you. Uh, yeah. I was saying um, about Drake and Aisha. 
Oh, I guess he. I guess that's what he's looking for. Oh, you think Drake targeting his sights on Aisha? Are you no, just making a I think he's just making a reference. Okay, that's what I was thinking. Okay. Okay. But you was talking about the new um single Drake on um, release with two chains and um what that two chains ain't in there. Future Future yeah. and um and what's his name? Little is work. Not little is work. No. Um, no, nah, that can't yeah, be. Y'all thug, y'all thug. He's from, he from Atlanta too. Y'all thug. Yeah, yeah, y'all thug. Was it, I thought it was pretty good. Was I it? thought it was a bop to me, shit. <laughs> I thought the oh, video yeah, you was know funny. Mhm. Mm you know, I think this is a copy of what a draft he made right here for Certified Love Boy. So. Oh. And then this is the uh, infamous <laughs> album that everybody's been recreating. Even Lil Nas X recreated like with dudes or something. It's like he's crazy. He like, said that album get you pregnant. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we move from Drake to um, Lil Nas X as he is anticipating his new album and he released like he's pregnant. I mean <laughs> 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 I, I mean, really? Yeah. And he's saying he's doing a, he's doing maternity photos. Yeah, you laughing at this? This is, this is uh, laughable. Uh, little Nas X ain't saying, that a, a troll. Yeah, he just trolled. Uh, he's in the new album Monero gonna come out soon. Monterio. Monterio. He's trying to do. He's birthing his album. I guess so. Monterio. Monterio. Montaro, I think that's his first name, Montaro. Well, um, do you think it's kind of tacky in a way, doing it like that? Getting I folks up wrong? <laughs> At this point, I'm not surprised that nothing that little Nas X do. He do stuff for yeah, shop I'm, I'm not either, yeah. but I'm just, you know, with kids and stuff, you don't want to get kids confused like that, especially young boys. But... You, and, and you, it's your best prepared to keep your kids away from shit like that. If it's that, you know, that's that's yeah, gonna be out there. Like, yeah, but I'm saying like he did um, hometown road, and everybody clamor around him, and then now he just started doing all this weird stuff, and people just start pulling away. Yeah, but he still has his fan base, so that's the ones that's gonna support him. Well, yeah, I guess he got some people in his plan, baby. He ain't got that many. But he got somebody. Yeah, I think his album be number one. Yeah. Yeah. He got somebody supporting you there. <laughs> okay. Also, too, we heard the following that um Nene Leak's husband, Greg, passed away at the age of sixty four. Nene Leaks uh, made a post recently this week. Saying that Greg was battling for his life, and uh, unfortunately, Greg succumbed to cancer. Nene Leaks now going to be now a grieving widow. What yeah. what what was your um moment? Did you have any favorite memories of Greg on the Real Housewives of Atlanta? I think my favorite memory of Greg is how he he be low key funny. You see what I'm saying? Like he'll have some mm -hmm. like remarks to say. But he be so funny and real about it. You know what I'm saying? And he yeah. the only one that could calm Nene down. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And take Nene down off the knot. Yeah. I think for me, like when they um finally, they had their little ups and downs and then they came back together. They um, oh, yeah. they scrapping your wedding they had and she paid mm -hmm. a million dollars for that wedding. And they got Bravo for that wedding. <laughs> Huh? I said Bravo probably paid for that win, but it was nice though. Yeah, probably did Bravo, NBC, or whoever. <laughs> mm -hmm. Somebody. But, um, you can tell Nene kind of emotional right now, so mm -hmm. we um send our condolences to her and her family. Yeah. This time. Also, too, um, also too, Trick Daddy is in the news this week. After he um told some reporters that he wants someone to eat his, you know what? 
I mean, how 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 low can you go with that? Trick Daddy, he always saying something out his mouth, reckless and crazy. You know, yeah. he was talking yeah. about. I remember a couple years ago talking about no black women, y'all need to watch out. The Latina girl cooking it when they could learn how to cook and do that. Y'all better watch out. And then it went from mm-hmm. ah, that man is just crazy dating that younger girl. And then he talking crazy on his radio station about Beyonce. And now he's yeah, talking about getting his booty. Now he's getting talking about he getting his booty eight like that. Sir, we don't need to know all this. We don't care for your opinion and what you think. Okay, you just you just yeah. go on fry that chicken like I said. Go on fry that chicken. Uh, Trick that double triple D or the triple dog D, whatever the guy all them. Yeah, I mean, focus on your who restaurant. Goes on, on, who goes on radio and say they want someone to eat their butt? I mean, I thought yeah, he was on a podcast. Yeah, just I, th- I, I thought he was on. Uh, greeted, I thought he was on uh, Nord podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It probably radio podcast same thing. But it's like, what, what you gonna eat somebody with their head for breakfast? Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I can't. Yeah, I can't. Just, trick dad. Trick dad said, yeah, what he want dad, I think he just do that for shock value. He just want to see yeah. how far he can go. Yeah, he he probably got some female in my area out there to do it for him. <laughs> yeah, they do that's from them. It's like they say, whatever you do in your bedroom, that's your business. But exactly. you gotta tell everybody what you do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, nasty. He looked nasty. Right. Nice. Oh yeah. Also, too, um, Paramount Plus announced that the game will get a reboot and it'll be on the streaming service. The game was the most successful show on CW and on BET. Mm-hmm. Well, CW had the game original on this network, and. It, the CW canceled the game. The game returned back on BET as a reboot. Now it's rebooting back on Paramount Plus. So, what's your thoughts on the game coming back on Paramount Plus? Uh, I feel like if they gonna do the reboot, I don't know. I think should they just do the original cast or do the reboot from BET too? They're they gonna have um, they're gonna have the original cast. They're gonna have um, the the new the original cast and some new members of the cast. They supposed to have uh, Wendy Raquel Robinson, the dude from Alabama, and um, uh, Jose Duran coming mm-hmm. back on the show. And they are supposed to have Durin. new members. Like I remember one of the dudes that was on the Tyler Perry Oval show, the real uh-huh. black guy, oh. the one that's um, you, you know what I'm talking I about, know. one that's um in the hospital right now. I don't know. I don't watch the old. I don't, <laughs> <laughs> I don't watch the old. If you probably said something about a little bit about sisters, I probably could know. But I don't watch the old. You know that. Yeah. Let's see. You know. Is, that, is, is, is Tia coming back? They haven't said yet. She haven't um, speculated. But I know um, Wendy Raquel Robinson and the, the dude from Alabama. And um, Durham, uh-huh. like, they coming back, but uh, okay. I don't know about everybody else. Um, did did you have a least favorite member of a ga- of the game that was on the show but didn't need to be on the show? Because I think I got one. What's his name? Uh, the one that was married to uh, Brittany. The one that was what? Jason. <laughs> yeah, Jason. yeah. No, he ain't coming back. I don't think he coming back. Okay, well there you go. Where you go? <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I liked him on the show, but I didn't like him on the show. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you talking about he was too arrogant and stuff? Yeah, he mistreated his wife and he just was everything. Up, man. He was just he was just being a uh, hypocrite, right? He'll do. Yeah. He'll tell you what not to do, but he'll do it anyway. Yeah, I like that. Well, I say I like all the characters on the show. I hope Tia come back. I think when Brandon was on the show, I was like, Brandon ain't needed. But Lauren London, she was kind of good on the show. Yeah, Lauren London um, and Jay Ellis. Yeah, they they put Brandon on their show trying to make her look um like she was ghetto and stuff. And it looked like Brandon for the step right play that same character on her new show. 
Let me tell you something. They say anytime you put Brandy on the show, that show get canceled. That show get canceled. Yeah. They put an ass on Star and got canceled. They put on goddamn the game and got canceled. It's something else you was on and got canceled. Don't put Brandy on no did, damn show. Um, <laughs> BT gave her a, a sitcom or something. Yeah, and it was short you saying, yeah, I mean, like you said, Brandon's supposed to be slated to be on Queens on ABC, so that's a prime oh, time show time. with Eve and <laughs> Natar and I. Let's hope and pray that that goes well because you know they can end Don't up. Put her on that show. Yeah, and then show I'm thinking count. too, they stereotyping black women on the show anyway because they're trying to make it seem like that's how black women is. We, well, we gotta to, like, get a show. We yeah. got to get a show a chance. We got to see how it goes. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm going to give it a chance. I'm going to give it a chance. I think they stereotype it. Yeah, we just have to see. Okay. I know it's a, another yeah. show coming on uh, Fox, but I can't think of what Yeah, yeah, I heard about that with Lee Daniels. Yeah, y'all, y'all, uh, I know her name, y'all, y'all. She's built American Mix Out Mom. I'm going to check that out. Too. And she played Whitney Houston, right? In a bio people. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. Also, too, the baby, who um, he's no stranger to controversy. The baby trying to get his image back intact with the LGB community. The baby attends some LGP community classes to be educated and understand um, what it means to be LGBTQ. And uh, the baby trying to be more sympathetic and be more sincere. What's your thoughts on the baby trying to read? Boot his image. Yeah, I think they say rehab his image. Um, that's exactly what he's doing, rebooting and rehabbing his image. You know, I I don't think he's gonna make a difference. He's still gonna have his fans. He's still gonna have the, yeah. the black male fan, white male fans, whoever a fan of the baby is still mm -hmm. gonna be a fan of the baby. The baby should have been got canceled when he hitting on women, smacking women. The woman had a phone in his face and he's smacking her. He damn near killed somebody. He, he always doing so. He needs to sit his head down. He got a little man syndrome. I mean, he, he gets my pregnant. Like I said, you trying to kill somebody or just offend somebody. The baby can't no way win or lose in, in a situation with that. But, I don't know. Uh, okay, he, he still yeah. going to have a career. So people, people try to counsel people and it, it don't go nowhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, you know what they're saying is you better re you you know what you re reap what you sow. Mm -hmm. So yeah, there you go. And um, finally, um, Kanye West released his album. He didn't want to be outshined by Drake, so Kanye released his album. And Kanye, a lot of people saying Britain that Kanye West trying to diss Kim, saying that he he was the one cheating, not Kim. Oh, yeah, I heard about that. They were cheating on him. And they're going to show you, you could be considered one of the most beautiful women, and you think you're the standard of beauty, and a man still cheat on your ass. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I just don't think um, with, Kanye, with Kanye West and uh, Drake with this competition, because they said Kanye released Donda, and Drake came out of nowhere and, and released uh, CLB. And yeah, I guess that's all when the competitions got heated up. Yeah, I, I think Drake. They said they was waiting for each other to release, so they could release at the same time. Mm -hmm. So it was a competition, but it's a beef too at the same time. See what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You told me um about Drake didn't want his son to be revealed or something. Yeah, he didn't want his son out of. He was going. He was going to eventually come out with it that he had a son, but. They forced his hand. You see what I'm saying? Drake think that mm -hmm. Con Drake think that Kanye, he told Kanye that he had a son. He think Kanye told Pusha T. Yeah. So that's what really the, that's the beef the, kind of started. And then that's how the feud got started, right? Mm-hmm. And then they said it's interesting that Jay-Z on both both albums. Jay Z is just a cloud chasing, uh, camera face ass, money hungry capitalist. <laughs> that man don't give a fuck. He ain't got no loyalty. Ain't no loyalty in the music business. I wish people would realize that. Yeah. Jay Z just in for the money, right? That was you saying. Mm 
Yep. Like you said, Kanye um, also tried to um, enact de- spirits or something to bring his mama back or something. Yeah, like a the seance, a seance, a seance, yeah. or some shit. Before kept saying his mama name, I was like, ooh, child. You don't, you don't speak too much into this, this shit. If you call on them, they shall appear. Shit. Yeah. yeah. Kanye, yeah, Kanye, you don't know. Kanye is honestly, I feel like he's battling demons. He is. He got demons yeah. in him. Just look I at know. him. I said he battles them because one minute he on this Christian kick, and then next minute he's some satanic type shit. And then he got Mary Manson out there. And he and Marilyn Manson, he he in trouble for S S H and R, the R word, I can't say it. But and then Marilyn Manson, a member of the church of Church of Satan, he's like, yeah. you know them two yeah, things in the to red jacket on them. Makes you think is he part of the church? Church of Satan. Yeah. He, he got something going on. He battling demons, I'm saying. Mental and physical. Yeah, I hope he so. All right. Well, they're going to end this week of Connect now. This week, we've been talking about a whole bunch of stuff. So, for Brittany Shea, I've been your host, Kendra Dick, saying so long. We'll see you next week for another edition of Connect Now. See you later.